Hello, my name is Kevin Coles, and this video demonstrates how you can use Onshape mate connectors like origin planes for mating. When using a top-down or master model approach, it is common to design parts and subassemblies in their respective locations relative to the top level assembly. To define these designed in place components in an assembly, one option is to insert them relative to their origin, group them together, and fix a component in place. This can be automated by inserting the entire part studio as rigid. However, there are many scenarios where references to the origin may be more appropriate. Create an explicit mate connector to define reference geometry for a part, sketch, curve, or surface. To create a mate connector at the origin in a part studio, select the origin in the graphics area or the feature list. Remember to specify the owner entity of the mate connector by selecting the appropriate part or reference geometry. Custom features offer automated ways to create mate connectors in part studios. You can also create a mate connector at an instance's origin in an assembly tab by right-clicking the entity in the graphics area or the assembly list. When inserted into an assembly, entities carry along the explicit mate connectors that they own. This allows for rapid constraining of parts based on that reference geometry. Mate each of the entities to the assembly origin. While the origin can be selected directly in a mate dialog, creating an explicit mate connector at the assembly origin is more robust and efficient. Creating a mate connector at the assembly origin also provides a reference for mating in higher level assemblies. In addition to defining that mate connector in the subassembly, you can also right click on that subassembly in the higher level assembly to automatically generate that reference geometry. With mate connectors at the part studio and assembly origins, it's easy to constrain subassemblies relative to each other, and a master model approach can be enforced throughout all levels of the design. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on shape tech tips.